Over the course of my research, I found many different studies that demonstrated a positive correlation between the use of student portfolios and student success. I've seen many teachers use Drive to create portfolios, but many times they'll have students share individual files as they complete them. This leads to a really messy and cluttered drive where docs are hard to find. The method I'm going to show you today works great because it allows students a place to produce work in a way that teachers can easily organize. So the first thing you'll want to do to create student portfolios for each of your students is you'll have them log into their own Drive account and then you'll want to instruct them to make a root level folder in their Drive. So they'll just click create and then a folder and then I think it's best to have the students just name their folder their name. So for instance if their name was Jon Snow they would type that. Now the next step is that you want the students to each create some subfolders within their main folder. So if they click on their main folder they'll see here it's empty and they can create as many new folders and files as they want inside this folder. So I'm going to go ahead and create a few, just um, some sample subjects that you might see in school. And you can always feel free to have your students create their own, just depending on what your needs are. So you can click Create Folder, and we'll go ahead and give Jon Snow some folders for his subjects in school. This one's Language Arts. And I'm going to go ahead and create a few more. I'll fast forward through this, but I just want you to see what this will look like in the end. So now you'll see I have within my students folder, I have some subfolders for each of the subjects that we'll be teaching in school. And it's really important to instruct the students to create their documents inside these folders. So anytime they're making something for a science experiment, they would do that inside the science folder. And in there they can even make subfolders of that. So if they want to do you know a project for one of their thematic units maybe they can make a folder for whales and then everything they do on the whales project would be created within the whales folder inside the science folder if that makes sense and it would look like this just to give you a, a frame of reference so we have our student folder inside it there's different subjects inside each subject we have subfolders. So if he was doing the Wales project, he would click Wales, and then he could create, you know, if he wanted to do a, a Word document or a presentation about the Wales, he would create those within this folder. When each of your students has all of their folders and subfolders created for their portfolio, here's the next step. They need to go to their home folder, the folder with their name on it, and they're going to click on this drop down arrow and select share and then they need to type in your email address the teachers email address so I'm gonna go ahead and share this to my Mr. Glenn's Cloud Classroom account and very important that they select that you can edit these files that will allow you to to be able to enter commenting mode if they have a document that you need to grade or comment on or even just being able to view their files and and help make some corrections if you need to or proofread papers in the digital format so once they have your email address and they selected edit they're gonna go ahead and click send and now you'll see these little icons show up on the folders to show that they are now shared. So since we shared the home folder, everything that is inside it will also have the same sharing permissions. So the teacher will be able to access and view and edit anything that lives inside the home folder. So I've logged back into my teacher account, the one that the students have shared all their folders with and you'll see that once the students have shared their portfolios with you they will show up in this shared with me folder and you'll see I have four students that have shared their folders with me so what I'm gonna do now as a teacher I'm gonna make 
a root level folder for my class. So you can call this whatever you want, but I'm just going to go create folder and I'll call this students 2014 to 15. Now I have this folder here in my Google Drive and I'm going to go back to shared with me and you can see all these students here again so I'm just going to select every student that is in that class and I'm just going to drag them over here into my students 2014-15 folder and now those will live there so if I want to see each of the students from that class I just click on this folder in my own drive so these files and folders don't actually belong to the teacher. They're just shared with them so they can see and edit. They will belong to the kids, to the individual students, and they can keep their files, folders forever. But you want to make sure that they're keeping all the work for your class within their specific root level folder and organized into the subfolders. What's really neat about doing it this way is that it keeps it very organized for the teacher to see. They can very easily log in and check in on their students. It's also a benefit if the parents are interested. You can just as easily share the folder with the parents so they can log in and see it anytime. Or if they feel more comfortable, you can just have the students log in to their accounts and show their parents what they've been working on. I found over time that this is a really excellent way to have students make their own portfolios for assessment and just for saving artifacts of their work. And once they learn how to do this and how to organize it, it'll also help them with their organizational skills because they've learned a way of how to group their files and folders in a way that's easy to find. If you have any questions or comments about this method of creating student portfolios, please leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to all of them. Thanks and have a good day.